Fear is a universal experience. We all have our own triggers. While some dread spiders, others cringe at the sight of cockroaches, and a few are spooked by ghosts. However, there's a distinct point when these fears can escalate into phobias. Before delving into the realm of 20 peculiar phobias that might be new to you, and likely unheard of for me as well, let's take a moment to understand what exactly we mean by phobia. A phobia is an intense, irrational, and often debilitating fear of a specific object, situation, or activity. People with phobias typically experience extreme anxiety and may go to great lengths to avoid the source of their fear. Phobias can interfere significantly with daily life, impacting a person's ability to function in various situations. Back to our topic, let us start with the first type of phobias. Genophobia, the fear of knees. This phobia may sound whimsical, but for those suffering with it may experience intense anxiety or discomfort when confronted with knees, whether it's their own or someone else's. The fear may manifest in various ways, such as avoidance of situations where knees are exposed or even covered, and it can be triggered by the sight or thought of knees. Like many phobias, the origin of genuphobia can vary. It may be linked to a traumatic event involving knees, cultural influences, or simply an inexplicable aversion to the appearance of knees. Individuals with genuphobia may find it challenging to participate in activities that involve exposing their knees or witnessing others doing so. Pogonophobia, the fear of beards. Individuals who have pogonophobia may experience heightened anxiety, discomfort, or even panic attacks when in the presence of individuals with facial hair, particularly beards. This fear can extend to both their own beards and those of others. Xanthophobia, this phobia involves an irrational fear of the color yellow, whether it be in objects, clothing, or surroundings. This aversion may be linked to negative experiences associated with the color, cultural influences, or even a subconscious association with danger, as yellow is often used for warning signs and cautionary labels. Arachibutyrophobia is the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of the mouth. To be honest, this phobia sounds kind of scary. This phobia may be rooted in a past choking incident, sensory aversions to certain textures, or concerns about the sticky nature of peanut butter. Pteranophobia, fear of being tickled by feathers. For individuals with pteranophobia, the fear of being tickled by feathers, seemingly harmless tickling can be a source of distress. This fear may stem from a past tickling experience gone wrong or a general aversion to the sensation of feathers. Turophobia, the fear of cheese, may seem peculiar, but it is a real and distressing phobia for some individuals. This fear may extend to various types of cheese, and the thought, sight, or smell of cheese can trigger anxious responses. For some individuals, the fear might be linked to broader issues, such as a fear of certain foods or concerns about allergies or contamination. Spectrophobia, known as the fear of mirrors, or one's own reflection. Individuals with spectrophobia may go to great lengths to avoid seeing their own reflection. This fear can extend beyond mirrors and may include reflective surfaces in general. Avoid mirrors, leading to challenges in daily grooming and self-perception. Hylophobia, the fear of trees. This phobia may be associated with traumatic experiences, such as accidents or injuries in wooded areas, negative environmental associations, or cultural influences that depict trees as ominous or threatening. The fear may also be linked to a broader anxiety about nature or the outdoors. Ablutophobia is the fear of bathing or washing. Individuals with ablutophobia experience intense anxiety or fear associated with the act of bathing, and the fear can extend to other related activities such as showering or washing hands. This phobia may result in avoidance of personal hygiene practices, 
leading to potential social and health consequences. The fear may be associated with past traumatic experiences related to bathing, such as slip and fall incidents or other accidents. Phobophobia. Ironically, phobophobia is the fear of having a phobia itself. Someone with this fear may experience anxiety over the potential development of other phobias or encountering situations that might trigger fear. The origin of phobophobia may be linked to a variety of factors, including past experiences with intense anxiety or panic attacks, a heightened sensitivity to stress, or a general predisposition to anxiety disorders. It can also be influenced by cultural factors and societal attitudes towards mental health. Selenophobia involves an irrational fear of the moon. This fear may be linked to superstitions, lunar-related myths, or concerns about the moon's impact on mental health. Megairocophobia involves an irrational fear of cooking. This fear may stem from concerns about kitchen accidents, fear of fire, or a lack of confidence in culinary skills. Individuals with megairocophobia may avoid cooking altogether, relying on prepackaged or takeout meals. Cathisophobia involves an irrational fear of sitting down. This fear may be related to concerns about immobility, vulnerability, or discomfort associated with certain seating arrangements. A person with cathisophobia may prefer to stand or engage in activities that allow constant movement. Electrophobia, the fear of chickens, may be rooted in negative experiences with these birds, concerns about aggression or cultural superstitions. Individuals with electrophobia may avoid farms, markets, or any place where chickens are present. Globophobia, an irrational fear of balloons. This fear may be linked to concerns about loud popping sounds, the unpredictability of balloon movements, or negative past experiences during balloon-related events. Dextrophobia is probably one of the weirdest phobias I heard of, which is the fear of objects on the right side of the body. Someone with dextrophobia may experience fear when objects or stimuli are positioned specifically on their right side. This fear can extend to various situations, including interactions with people or objects that are predominantly on the right side. Euphobia, fear of hearing good news. This fear may be linked to anxiety about change, fear of heightened expectations, or a belief that positive news may be followed by negative consequences, consecutaliophobia, or fear of chopsticks. The fear may be rooted in concerns about using them improperly, discomfort with foreign utensils, or even fear of injury. Individuals with this phobia may avoid Asian cuisine or social situations where chopsticks are used. Hippopotamonstrous Esquipedaliophobia. Ironically, the term Hippopotamonstrous Esquipedaliophobia itself refers to the fear of long words. Individuals with this phobia may experience anxiety when confronted with lengthy words. By the way, the word written contains 45 letters, and it refers to a lung disease caused by the inhalation of silica or quartz dust. Possibly stemming from a fear of mispronunciation, public embarrassment, or linguistic challenges. Lastly, tomato phobia. From the name of the phobia, tomato phobia refers to the fear of tomato. While uncommon, some people are afraid of these red fruits. It may seem weird, but they may suffer a range of symptoms when confronted with tomatoes. These can include heightened anxiety, rapid heartbeat, sweating, trembling, nausea, and even panic attacks. The fear may extend beyond the mere sight of tomatoes, encompassing the fear of touching, smelling, or tasting them. Sufferers might go to great lengths to avoid any situation involving tomatoes, impacting their daily lives and relationships. It's essential to acknowledge and respect these unique phobias, offering support to those who grapple with them. Thank you for watching.